Hey sis, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to hear from God when you're starting and building your online business. Now, before we get into the episode, I just want to leave you with a practical tool of how to hear from God, because throughout the episode, I'm basically going to be helping you set the foundation to be able to recognize his voice. So when you want to hear from God, the first thing that you want to do is write out everything that you feel in your spirit God is saying to you. So whether it's an idea, whether whether it's a plan, whatever it is, write it down. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is lining up with his word. On the episode, I go on to explain the first time I heard from God, which was he was telling me to practice abstinency. So what I did was I wrote that down on a piece of paper. And then I went on Google and I Google, what does the Bible say about abstinency? What are some scriptures about sex? And I took all those scriptures and I aligned it with what it is that I felt God was asking me to do. And it's going to be the same thing for you. Now, some of the things that you may hear God telling you, you might not be able to find the exact scripture for, but it will align with his voice and his character. And that's what we're going to be talking about throughout the rest of the episode, how to set the foundation so that you know God's voice and you know God's character. So when you feel or you hear something inside your spirit that you might not be able to find the exact scripture for, at least you're confident to know that that is God's voice. So grab that notebook, grab that pencil, and let's get to the episode. You are listening to Call Heart Profitable, the podcast where we blend faith, business, and personal development. I'm your host, Odeja, founder of the Woman of Power Group and certified life and business coach. And on this podcast, we'll explore partnering with God in your entrepreneurial endeavors, uncover your God-given gifts so you can start and grow a business that flows, transform your mindset, and walk confidently in your calling. So grab your journal, sis, that Bible, and your favorite iced coffee as we embark on this journey together. Let's get started. Hey, sis. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to hear from God when you're building your online business. And this is an important topic because as women of power, women of faith, women of profitability, we are here to build businesses that are God honoring. I think about my mentor and her slogan, God is my CEO, where it's God who is the founder and the owner of the business. And it's the same thing for us. If God is going to be the founder and the owner of the business, we got to know exactly what he's saying in the direction that he wants the business to go. So today we're going to be talking about how to hear from God when we are building our businesses. Now, when I was thinking about the episode topic, it made me go back to a few years ago. I had made this video about when I was trying to hear from God and I was really pressed. Like I was desiring to hear from God so much. I was reaching out to some trusted advisors who already had started their relationship with God. And I was basically asking them how to hear from God. I was praying a lot. I was asking God to please help me to hear his voice. I was doing a lot of research online on how to hear from God. And finally, the first time that I actually heard from God, it was not what I wanted to hear. The first time that I heard from God, he told me to start practicing abstinency. And I honestly was like, mm, this cannot be God. This is not what God is telling me to do. But when I figured it out. When I really sat with myself, I realized this was exactly what God was asking me to do because it aligned up with his word. And I start the episode this way because how we're going to hear from God when building our online business is number one, we have to have the desire to hear from God. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, when you draw nigh to me, I draw nigh to you. So if you're struggling to hear from God in your business or just wanting to know how to hear from God in your business, the first thing is you want to work up an appetite of hearing from God. You want to build up a desire for hearing from God in your business. You want to spend some time asking God to make his voice loud to you as it pertains to the business. And this also had everything to do with my next point is you want to build an intimate relationship with God. Building an intimate relationship with God is how you're going to be able to hear from him in business. The art of hearing from God starts 
starts with your intimacy with him. It starts with the time that you spend talking to him in prayer and not just talking to him in prayer, but also spending time listening for what it is that he's asking you to do. It's taking those steps of obedience when you feel that he's asking you to do something, which is going to strengthen your ear, your spiritual ear to hear from him. Also, how you're able to hear from God is by staying close to his word. When I think about building a relationship and knowing the voice of somebody, I think about this story that I heard of a mother who lost her child in a big crowd, but she was able to hear his voice. When he yelled out, mom, she knew exactly it was him. And when I think about this, the reason why she knew that it was him was because she spent a lot of time with him. She knew what his voice is like. She knows his vocabulary. And it's the same thing with God. Hearing from God is knowing his word. When you spend intimate time in the Bible, you know how God sounds. You know the things that God is expecting of you. You know the things that are pleasing to God. You know the vocabulary God used. You know the heart of God. So then when you do hear something inside your spirit, you know how to differentiate whether it's you, it's God, or it's somebody else. That's what happened with me once I finally heard from God to start practicing abstinency. The only reason why I really knew that it was him and not me was one, if I could be honest, at that time where I was in my walk, that's just not something than I would have told myself to do. It was just out of my norm. But number two, it was aligned with his word, with his word saying that it was ungodly to have sex outside of marriage. So it's the same thing for you. You want to get close to God's word. You want to spend time with knowing how he talks. You want to spend time knowing what he thinks about in order for you to be able to hear from him clearly. The next way to hear from God when starting your business is you want to have a heart of repentance. There's a scripture that talks about sin blocking us from being heard from God. If there is some type of sin inside of your life, it's going to be very hard for you to hear from God. So you want to think about what are the things that are you that you are doing that are not pleasing to God and you want to repent of it. And repentance doesn't just mean, hey God, I'm sorry. Repentance also means turning away. So let's say, for example, there's a spirit of pride inside of me that I know that is not pleasing to God. Not only am I going to, to confess that and say, God, I ask that you forgive me for the spirit of pride, but I'm going to make a a conscious effort for turning away from pride. So that is what you're going to want to do as well. You want to have a repentance heart so that you're able to hear clearly from God when you're starting your business. All right. So what does hearing from God in your business look like? It honestly looks different for each person, but some of the things it looks like from hearing from God in your business is one, forgiveness. So if there is something that's going on in your personal life, like unforgiveness or like bitterness or gossip or anything like that, God is going to address those issues first when you're hearing from him in business. And the reason why that's going to happen is because God wants you to build a business from a whole place. Before you get into the marketing and crafting your offers and selling and helping all these people that you're called to serve, the Lord is going to help you to take the eye, the log out of your own eye. He's going to want to build up your character so that you can be the woman that you need to be to even operate and run this business from a pure or righteous and a holy place. So you might go to God about a strategy inside of your business and he might tell you to forgive your mom or he might tell you to repent for a certain sin, a a certain hidden sin, or he might tell you to turn away from idols. That's what it looks like to hear from God in your business because again, he wants you to operate this business from a heel in a whole place. What it also looks like from hearing God in your business is your unique strategy. So God knows exactly how he has created you. He knows how he have designed you. He knows exactly what the people you're called to serve need in a particular season. So some of the strategies that he gives you 
it might be unorthodox. I remember when I first was bouncing back from my failed launch with the Woman of Power group and God gave me this strategy of doing a 30-day challenge. That challenge was called the Believe Bigger Challenge. And he basically was like, hey, reach out to the women on your email list, ask them if they want to join this 30-day challenge. And that is your marketing strategy. And it worked. Now, that wouldn't have been a strategy that I came up with myself because I have a already tried different marketing strategies. In fact, I had wanted to do something completely different, but the Lord told me to do that. And when I took that leap of faith, it was actually a success and it was the bounce back of what the Woman of Power Group would be today. So for you, hearing from God inside of your business, it may sound unorthodox. It may sound like things that you never done before. And sometimes it even is really simple. It might be things that you have done before that didn't work, but now God God is asking you to do it again or things you haven't done before that sounds too good to be true but it's going to work because God knows exactly what it is that you need at that moment inside of your business. Hearing from God while you're building your online business also looks like building a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Now, this has been such a blessing for me this year, really understanding who the Holy Spirit is and building a relationship with him because the Holy Spirit is our helper. He is the spirit of truth. He is the gift that Jesus has left on earth to empower us, to intercede for us, to advocate for us, to comfort us, to strengthen us. Like the Holy Spirit is exactly how you will hear from God when building your business. The way that I have gotten to know the Holy Spirit is one by recognizing he is not an it, but he is a person and he is the spirit of truth. Number two, I have been in the book of Acts for for some time now, really studying the actions of the Holy Spirit. When you read the book of Acts, it's really acts of the Holy Spirit. You'll see how the Holy Spirit empowered the believers, how Holy Spirit built the early church and how the believers interacted with the Holy Spirit. So Acts is a great book for you to dive into if you want to learn more about the Holy Spirit. In partner with Acts, I was reading a book called Jesus in Me, authored by Anne Granham that talks about the Holy Spirit. The book talks about the function of the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit shows up in our life daily. It is really the Holy Spirit that helps us hear from God in our business. I'm going to do another episode on who the Holy Spirit is and how he helps us in business. But the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. He's part of the Godhead. He is the spirit of truth, which is really the spirit of Jesus. And it's the spirit of Jesus or the Holy Spirit that helps us to hear from God when we're building out our businesses. Honestly, the root of this episode and the root of how to hear from God in business is really spending time with God. It's really getting getting to know him, getting to know his word, getting to know his character, taking leaps of faith. So if you feel like you heard from God and you're not 100% sure, I would say test it out. How else are you going to know if it's God unless you test out if it's in his word and also by moving in faith, having some type of action to know if it's God or if it's not. And then also by spending time in prayer. Prayer is a conversation between you and God. Not only are you talking to God, but you're also taking the time to listen so that you can hear from him. And again, it's very crucial and important for us profitable women that are building out businesses that are God honoring for us to hear from God. It might be certain things that God is asking us to do in business and we're going to need to hear from him. There may be certain things that God is not wanting us to do for business, not wanting us to get into certain contracts, not wanting us to be a part of certain organizations, not wanting us to connect ourselves with certain people, wanting us to connect ourselves with certain people, certain offerings and messaging that he may want from us. This is the importance of us hearing from God in business. Again, God is the owner. He's the founder. He's the creator of our businesses. We are merely stewards and managers. So we need to be able to hear from the boss on exactly Exactly how he wants us to create these businesses. And that's what it means to have a God on our business. 
So I know this episode was very quick because honestly, the root of it is spend time with God, get to know Holy Spirit, spend time in his word, take leaps of faith when you hear him talk to you and test the spirit by the spirit. So test what you're hearing with the word of God so that you can hear from him clearly in your business. If you can hear from God clearly on everything else in your life, you'll be able to also hear from God clearly inside of your business. So I hope this episode was a blessing to you. I hope that it gave you insight onto how to hear from God when you're starting and building your business. And please, sis, don't make this a hard thing. Don't make this a project, right? The first thing that you want to do is have a desire to even hear from God. And if you're listening to this episode, that shows that you do have a desire to hear from God specifically as it pertains to your business. And then start talking to him. Start asking him to open up your ears, open up your spirit, open up your understanding so that you can hear from him clearly not just in business, but in everything else that he has in store for you. So that's it. I love you. I hope this episode was a blessing to you. Please share this with a friend who is struggling to hear from God or who wants to hear from God inside of her business. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hey, sis. Thanks for tuning in. If you found any value in today's episode, I'd love to hear from you. Please take a moment to leave a review and share the podcast with a friend. Together, we can empower more women to walk boldly in their faith and business. Until next time, stay profitable.